Once a company and site have been created, you must define fiscal years for each year starting with the first fiscal year defined for the company up to your current fiscal year. Fiscal years must be defined for each company and legal ledger combination you have. Once you have the fiscal years defined, you must set their status to open so you can define an open fiscal period. Fiscal periods are defined based on the company, ledger type, and fiscal year. By default, 12 periods are created. However, this can be changed. The period start date for the first period is based on the start date for the fiscal year and cannot be changed. The period status specifies if the period is open or closed to activity. You can open a single period or a range of periods up to a maximum of 20 at one time. Periods must be opened in sequence and can only be opened within a fiscal year that is open. Let's take a look at adding a new fiscal year and opening fiscal periods in your system. To add and open fiscal years, you select the Fiscal Years function from the Common Data menu. Find the company that you want to add your fiscal years for. I will select my training company. And then make sure you select your legal ledger. To add a fiscal year, you select Fiscal Years from the right panel. Open it up your year, yes or no and then go ahead and click OK. Once you have your years opened, you want to go ahead and put in a good description that will display so you know which year you're looking at. And then go ahead and click Save. This added the fiscal year, but they are not open. To open a fiscal year, you click Opening in the right panel. And then you determine which fiscal years you would like to open by changing No to Yes. I will open all three of my years. And then click OK. Now my fiscal years are open and can have fiscal periods open for them. To open fiscal periods, select the periods function under the common data menu. Select the company that you want to open the fiscal periods for. I'm going to select my training company. And then select the fiscal year that you want to open the periods for. To open the year, you click opening in the right panel. And then you make sure the yes is set. And then notice there are 20 results that can display. You can go to the second page. And it will open the first 20 periods as long as the fiscal year is open. Now I'll go to my second fiscal year and notice that they are opened halfway through. I'll open up the rest of my fiscal year 2015. And notice they are all set to yes. I'll go to page two, and I'll go ahead and click OK. This should also open up all of fiscal year 2016 for me as well. There is a difference between the period status and the stock status. The stock status can be open, balance adjustment, or closed. And if you are doing stock transactions for this site, you can close the site for any type of stock movement if you're doing a physical inventory account. But if you want to go back in and do stock movements, you must come back in and reopen up your stock status. In this lesson, you have learned that every company has to have fiscal years defined for every fiscal year for each company and legal ledger combination. That a fiscal year can have a status of opened or not opened. And when a fiscal year is created, 12 default fiscal periods are created for that first fiscal year, but this can be changed. 
as well as how to open fiscal periods and allow for financial activity.